This video will help you get started with your Pocket Lab app and sensor. To start using Pocket Lab, launch the app from your iPad or iPhone. And then on the sensor, press the top button. This will pair your sensor with uh, the app on your device. When your sensor appears, uh, click on the icon and you'll start to see all the readings from each of the individual sensors uh, come across your screen. If the initial uh, readings uh, do not seem accurate, uh, don't worry, the sensors are um, calibrating and they should return to a more accurate uh, reading um, in a few minutes. The sensors built into the Pocket Lab um, device are uh, an ambient temperature sensor which reads the temperature internal to the device, an IR temperature sensor which is located behind this left eye uh, and this will detect the temperature of an object that it's pointed at. Um, so if we point the Pocket Lab sensor at a, a glass of ice water um, we will see the IR temperature reading start to decrease and then if we remove it the temperature will go up. There is a three-axis accelerometer on the device so um, it is oriented um, where the, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and this is the z-axis. There's also a, um, a plot of the overall magnitude of acceleration. There's a humidity sensor um, internal to the device there's a three-axis magnetic field sensor um, which can be used to measure the change in the magnetic field um, or as a digital compass. Uh, there's a barometer that can measure changes in altitude or barometric pressure um, and there's a gyroscope which measures angular rotation. So if you click on any of the readings um, and we'll choose the magnetometer to look at, um, if it has a multiple components, you'll see them come across the screen um, as X, Y, and Z. Now, um, if we change the orientation of Pocket Lab with respect to the Earth's magnetic field, we, we will be able to see a change in the, uh, the magnetic field reading. Now, if we wanted to take um, readings for an experiment, uh, we can record our data and have that emailed to um, ourselves. To start a new experiment, you can hit the reset button to clear uh, all the old data um, that you don't want to record. And then in a minute, the device will start uh, recording new data. And now let's say I wanted to look at the strength of a magnet um, from the refrigerator. Uh, I can set up my experiment where I bring the magnet in close proximity to the sensor and I can measure the distance, look at the change in the magnetic field, and then hit stop on my iPad. And this will stop the recording, and it will um, create a um, email that you can uh, send to yourselves with uh, the data recorded in the body of the email, and then also at the bottom as a CSV file which you can import into um, any program that you'd like. Uh, Excel, MATLAB, um, anything that can handle um, typical data um, values. So that's how to get started with your Pocket Lab. And check out our other videos for how to use the individual sensors.